So tell me, which are the products that you're highlighting out here? Well, we have uh, we actually have a few new products that we're showing off at IBC. So brand new for this show. We're really excited to have them here. Uh, if you want to like kind of step into the booth a little bit. Yes. We can kind of walk back in here, kind of walk around the crowds a little bit. Uh, one of the first products that we uh, we released here, uh, that one of the biggest releases we've had in a, in a while, is a new Kona card we have here. It's a, the Kona IP25. Uh, this is our next generation uh, Kona IP, essentially. So uh, when I say IP, I mean it is IP video. We're not talking SDI. We're not talking HDMI. We're talking video over IP. You'll see that on the board itself, there are two SFP cages in there. Those two SFP cages can take uh, 25 gig SFPs. They can take 10 gig SFPs. Uh, there's also a gig gigabit Ethernet uh, connection on there for like out of band control and all those type of things. But but what the Kona IP25 uh, does that's really unique. I mean, is that it's a Kona card. Uh, you know, it, it, it's unlike a lot of other IP devices out there in that there's nothing really proprietary about it. It operates like our other Kona cards. It has the same underlying architecture, the same SDK, the same software compatibility as the Kona cards that we've been making for decades that everyone knows and loves. Um, you know, one real unique feature we're showing off here is you can see we have this big Mac Pro tower here. Well, the Kona IP25, at least at the time that we announced it, you know, a lot of news fly flying around at IBC, so who knows how accurate it is now. But, um, you know, the Kona IP25, when we announced it, it was only I 25 gig capable IP board that has Mac compatibility. So it's a real, real unique thing. And it's like, if you're used to our Kona cards and you work with, uh, you know, things like Adobe Premiere, it's like OBS, you know, those type of applications that just work with our Kona cards, it just works on IP25. Oh. So super, super exciting, super unique product. Uh, you know, some other neat things we've announced, uh, you know, we kind of slide over to the side here a little bit in okay. our booth. Um, we have here, you'll see our, our, our color box products. You know, people know and love our color box. It's one of the... One of the coolest, kind of most innovative products we've ever made. It's one of those things where, you know, we listen to our customers and we, we like to make what our customers need. But every now and then we come up with just something that no one's ever come up with. And what the cover box is, is essentially a lookup table injection device, um, but it's ultra, ultra fast. So, you know, the latency within within color box is, you know, sub a half of line. We measure in pixels. So, so instantaneous, uh, instantaneous latency, if I, essentially. And what we've done now is we've made an open gear version of the color box. Uh, so same product, same functionality. It's just in an open gear form factor now. Um, so both are still available. The new color box, the open gear, the open gear version of the color box will be available uh, uh, pretty soon here in the next uh, ne ne next couple of months. Available soon is what I like to say. Um, and you know, color box 3.0 is some new features that we're releasing for color box. Um, and it's just a whole bunch of new stuff we're adding. Airy Log C3 capabilities. Uh, you know, SDR to HDR conversion, HDR to SDR, just a very, very, very powerful device. So, you know, you know, come on down to our booth at IBC 2024 if you need more information or go to our website, AJA.com. We'll show you all the cool stuff. Uh, but we're really, really excited to show these new things off at the show.